to watch this if you think your Wi-Fi is slow, because these water animals are about to make it look like dial-up. All right, let's dive in. First up, the black marlin. This bad boy can hit speeds of 82 miles per hour. That's faster than your grandma in a sports car. Next, we have the sailfish. With its top speed of 68 miles per hour, it's like the Usain Bolt of the ocean. Seriously, this fish could probably beat most cars in a race. And don't even get me started on the swordfish. Clocking in at 60 miles per hour, it's like the ocean's very own Formula One racer, minus the pit stop. Last but not least, the yellowfin tuna. This guy cruises at a casual 50 miles per hour. Imagine trying to catch that for dinner. Good luck. So next time you're cursing your slow internet, remember these aquatic speedsters and be thankful you don't have to race them. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun facts that make you question your life choices. Hey everyone, before we dive into the depths of a thrilling showdown, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You wouldn't want to miss out on more epic nature battles like the one you're about to witness. Today, I'm bringing you a clash of the titans, a battle of the ocean's fiercest. Yes, you guessed it. We're talking about the orca versus the great white shark. Now let's set the stage. Imagine the vast blue expanse of the ocean. It's not just water, it's an arena. And in this corner, weighing in at up to six tons, the orca, often called the killer whale, but let's be real, they're more like the CEO of the seas. And in the opposing corner, the infamous great white shark, the ocean's own chainsaw, an apex predator with a bite that can cut through bone like butter, you might think this would be a close match, but let's dive into the details. First off, orcas are not just big, they're smart. We're talking about creatures that have complex social structures and hunting strategies that make military tactics look like child's play. On the flip side, the great white is a loner. It relies on stealth and power, ambushing from below with such force that it can propel itself and its unlucky lunch clear out of the water. Impressive? Absolutely. But is that enough to take down the ocean's black and white strategist? Here's a fun fact. Orcas have been known to prey on great whites. Yeah, you heard that right. There's documented behavior of orcas flipping sharks upside down to induce tonic immobility, essentially turning them into shark sushi with one swift move. It's like watching a chess grandmaster at work. But let's not sell the great white short. These sharks have survived the challenges of the ocean for millions of years. Their sense of smell is legendary and their razor sharp teeth are constantly replaced like a never ending conveyor belt of nightmare fuel. So who rules the ocean? In a one on one matchup, the orca might have the upper fin thanks to its brain power and teamwork. But remember, the ocean is a big place and there's plenty of room for more than one apex predator. What do you think? Could a great white ever outsmart an orca? Or are orcas the undisputed champions of the sea? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more nature's epic showdown. Thanks for watching. Hey there, marine enthusiasts. Welcome back to another thrilling underwater adventure. Are you ready to dive into the deep, dark ocean and meet some shocking sea monsters you never knew existed? Trust me, you won't believe your eyes. Grab your scuba gear and hold your breath, because this is about to get wild. We're about to uncover some of the most bizarre and terrifying creatures lurking in the ocean's depths. First up, let me introduce you to the goblin shark. This creature is like something straight out of a nightmare. Yeah, you heard me right, goblin, not the cute kind from fairy tales. This one is far from cute. This guy looks like he's had one too many electric shocks. Its appearance is truly shocking and otherworldly. With a face only a mother could love, this deep sea dweller's snout is long and flat with jaws that extend to catch prey. It's like a living fossil, unchanged for millions of years. Imagine having a bad hair day every day of your life. That's the goblin shark for you. Its unique appearance makes it one of the most fascinating creatures in the ocean. This elusive predator is rarely seen by humans, adding to its mysterious allure. Next on our list of oceanic nightmares is the vampire squid. This creature's name alone is enough to send shivers down your spine. Sounds like something out of a horror movie, right? But this little guy is very real and very strange. This little guy lives so deep in the ocean, it's pitch black down there. The darkness is its home and it thrives in the abyss. It's got these red eyes and webbing between its tentacles, which makes it look like it's wearing a cloak. It's like a tiny Dracula of the deep sea. Dracula called, he wants his style back, but don't be fooled by its eerie appearance. But don't worry, the vampire squid doesn't suck blood. 
meaning it feeds on dead organic material. It just looks like it's odd. Its appearance is enough to give anyone the creeps, but it's harmless to humans. Now let's talk about the bobbit worm, this creature of stuff of nightmares, folks. This is the stuff nightmares are made of, folks. Imagine a five-foot-long worm with razor-sharp mandibles that ambushes its prey with the speed of a bullet. Imagine a five-foot-long worm with razor-sharp mandibles that ambushes its prey with the speed of a bullet. Not terrifying enough, it literally cuts its prey in half. It literally cuts its prey in half. This ambush predator is both fascinating and terrifying. Talk about a bad day. You definitely wouldn't want to encounter this creature on a casual dive. Moving on, we have the stonefish. This guy is the ultimate hide-and-seek champion because it looks exactly like a rock. This guy is the ultimate hide-and-seek champion because it looks exactly like a rock. Its camouflage is so perfect, you might not even notice it until it's too late. Step on it, and you'll be greeted with the most venomous spines in the world. Its venom can cause excruciating pain and even be fatal. It's like Mother Nature's way of saying, surprise. And trust me, it's a surprise you don't want. And trust me, it's a surprise you don't want. The stonefish is a master of disguise and a dangerous predator. And finally, let's not forget the sarcastic fintail. Yes, that's its real name. This fish is as bizarre as its name suggests. Yes, that's its real name. This fish looks like it's permanently auditioning for a role in a monster movie. Its appearance is both comical and intimidating. When threatened, it opens its huge mouth wide to intimidate its enemy. It's like a living jack-in-the-box, ready to surprise any intruder. Looks like somebody's having a bad day at the dentist. Its aggressive display is both fascinating and a little bit funny. So there you have it, five sea monsters you probably never knew existed. Each one more bizarre and fascinating than the last. The ocean is full of bizarre and deadly creatures lurking in its depths. The ocean is full of bizarre and deadly creatures lurking in its depths. It just goes to show that sometimes it's better to stay on the beach. But for those brave enough to explore, the ocean holds endless wonders and mysteries. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the ocean's creepiest critters, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below. We love hearing from our fellow ocean enthusiasts. Until next time, stay safe and keep exploring. Subscribe, watermark check. And remember, the ocean is vast and full of secrets waiting to be discovered. The ocean, a vast and mysterious realm, holds within its depths a breathtaking array of creatures, from the smallest plankton to the largest whales. Each plays a vital role in the intricate web of life. But among these creatures, there exists a fascinating duality, a contrast between the fierce hunters and the gentle guardians. Some, like sharks, are known for their predatory prowess, their sleek bodies built for speed and their jaws filled with razor-sharp teeth. Others, like certain whales, exhibit remarkable gentleness and protective instincts, often forming bonds with other species and even humans. The ocean's creatures, like the sea itself, are full of surprises. They can be both beautiful and terrifying, fierce and gentle, mysterious and familiar. Their lives are a tapestry of intricate relationships, a delicate balance between predator and prey, protector and protected. As we delve into the depths of this underwater world, we uncover stories of survival, cunning hunters and selfless guardians, each contributing to the vibrant symphony of life beneath the waves. The ocean's vastness hides countless secrets, stories whispered on currents and etched on ancient coral reefs. It is a world where the laws of nature reign supreme, where survival depends on instinct, adaptation, and a delicate dance between cooperation and competition. And within this world, the roles of hunter and guardian are not always clear-cut, often blurring at the edges, revealing the complex interplay of life in this underwater realm. As we explore the lives of these remarkable creatures, we gain a deeper understanding of the ocean's delicate balance and our own place within it. We are reminded that the sea is not merely a body of water, but a living, breathing entity teeming with life and interconnectedness, a world we are only beginning to comprehend. In the shadowy depths, sleek predators patrol their domain. Sharks, with their cold, calculating eyes and powerful bodies, are the epitome of oceanic hunters. Their senses are finely tuned to detect the slightest movement, the faintest scent of blood in the water. They are masters of the chase. Their streamlined form slices through the water with effortless grace. 
These apex predators play a crucial role in maintaining the health of the ocean ecosystem. By targeting the weak and the sick, they prevent the spread of disease and ensure the survival of the fittest. Their hunting prowess keeps populations in check, preventing overgrazing of kelp forests and maintaining the delicate balance of life. But sharks are not the only hunters in this underwater realm. Barracuda, with their lightning-fast reflexes and sharp teeth, are formidable predators, ambushing their prey with explosive speed. Tuna, sleek and powerful, roam the open ocean in search of schools of fish. Their streamlined bodies built for endurance and speed. The ocean's hunters are a testament to the power of evolution, their bodies and instincts honed over millennia for survival in a world where only the fittest thrive. They are a reminder of the raw beauty and untamed wilderness that exists beneath the waves, a world where life and death are intertwined in an intricate dance. In contrast to the hunters, there exist creatures of remarkable gentleness and protective instincts. Whales, the gentle giants of the sea, often exhibit behaviours that suggest a deep sense of empathy and guardianship. Humpback whales, known for their haunting songs and acrobatic displays, have been observed protecting seals from orca attacks, forming a protective barrier around the smaller mammals. These protective instincts are particularly evident in female whales, who fiercely guard their young from potential threats. They will position themselves between their calves and danger, using their massive bodies as shields. Their maternal instincts are a powerful force, driving them to defend their offspring with unwavering determination. Dolphins, known for their intelligence and playful nature, also exhibit protective behaviors. They have been observed guarding swimmers from sharks, forming a protective circle around them and even escorting them back to shore. These acts of interspecies altruism suggest a level of awareness and compassion that continues to fascinate scientists and ocean enthusiasts alike. The ocean's guardians are a testament to the power of compassion and the interconnectedness of life. They remind us that even in the wild, there is room for kindness, for cooperation, and for the protection of the vulnerable. Their presence enriches the marine ecosystem, adding another layer of complexity and wonder to the underwater world. One particularly poignant example of protective behavior involves a female humpback whale named Salt. Salt, known for her distinctive white markings, was observed protecting a seal pup from a pod of hungry orcas. The orcas, notorious for their coordinated hunting strategies, had surrounded the seal, cutting off its escape route. Salt, sensing the seal's distress, intervened, positioning herself between the orcas and the pup. She used her massive body to shield the seal, even lifting it out of the water on her back to keep it safe. The orcas, frustrated by Salt's interference, eventually abandoned their hunt, leaving the seal unharmed. This remarkable act of interspecies altruism highlights the depth of a mother's love, even extending beyond her own species. Salt's actions demonstrate that compassion and empathy are not limited to humans, but are present in the animal kingdom as well, particularly among mothers who fiercely protect their young and sometimes extend that protection to other vulnerable creatures. Salt's story serves as a powerful reminder that the ocean is a place of wonder where unexpected bonds can form and where acts of kindness can transcend the boundaries of species. It is a testament to the interconnectedness of life and the power of compassion to bridge even the most unlikely divides. The interplay between hunters and guardians is essential for maintaining the delicate balance of the marine ecosystem. Predators, by controlling populations of prey species, prevent overgrazing and ensure the health of the ecosystem. Guardians, through their protective instincts, contribute to the survival of vulnerable species and maintain biodiversity. This balance, however, is under constant threat from human activities. Overfishing, pollution and climate change are disrupting marine ecosystems, decimating populations of both predators and guardians. The decline of shark populations, for instance, can lead to an explosion of prey species, disrupting the food web and impacting the health of coral reefs. Similarly, the plight of whales facing threats from entanglement in fishing gear, ship strikes and noise pollution can have cascading effects on the ecosystem. Their role in nutrient cycling, for instance, is crucial for maintaining the productivity of the ocean. Protecting the ocean's hunters and guardians is not just about preserving individual species, 
What about safeguarding the intricate web of life that sustains the entire marine ecosystem? It is about recognizing our own dependence on a healthy ocean and taking responsibility for our impact on this vital realm. The stories of the ocean's hunters and guardians serve as a powerful reminder of our connection to the sea. We are inextricably linked to this vast and mysterious realm, our lives intertwined with the fate of its creatures. The choices we make, the actions we take, have ripple effects that extend far beyond our immediate surroundings. By understanding the delicate balance of the marine ecosystem, we can learn to appreciate the importance of both predators and guardians. We can recognize that sharks, despite their fearsome reputation, play a vital role in maintaining the health of the ocean. We can marvel at the compassion and protective instincts of whales and dolphins, recognizing the shared threads of empathy that bind us together. The ocean is not merely a resource to be exploited, but a living, breathing entity teeming with life and wonder. It is a source of inspiration, a place of solace, and a reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things. As we continue to explore its depths, we uncover not only the secrets of the sea, but also the depths of our own humanity. Hey there, fin addicts. Welcome to my channel where we dive deep into the wild world of sharks. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that button like a hungry great white hitting a seal. You know, minus the whole getting eaten alive part. Today, we're talking about the ocean's deadliest shark, but with a little twist. We're adding a dash of dark humor because, let's face it, laughing in the face of danger is kind of my thing. First up, the OG of shark horror, the Great White. This is the shark that single Finn Edley launched a thousand nightmares and made everyone afraid to go in the water. Let's be real, the Great White is the Leonardo DiCaprio of sharks. It's always in the spotlight, winning awards like Most Likely to Eat You Whole and starring in all the blockbusters. But hey, can you blame it? With a face like that, it was born to be a star. I mean, those teeth, it's like nature's version of a chainsaw. But don't let the fame fool you. This predator is as deadly as it is famous. Remember that whole you're gonna need a bigger boat thing? Yeah, they weren't kidding. Next up, we've got the bull in the china shop of the sea. The bull shark, these guys are like the angry linebackers of the shark world. They're aggressive, unpredictable, and they don't care where they are. Fresh water, salt water, you name it, they'll crash the party. Seriously, these guys have zero chill. They're like that one friend who gets hangry and flips the table if they miss a meal. Actually, scratch that, they're way scarier than your hangry friend. They've got teeth, and they're not afraid to use them. So if you see a bull shark, maybe just give it some space and a Snickers, you know, just in case. Now let's talk trash. No, literally, let's talk about the tiger shark, the ocean's garbage disposal. These guys will eat anything, and I mean anything, license plates, tires, your hopes and dreams. You name it, they've probably eaten it. I'm pretty sure I even saw one spitting out a half-eaten rubber chicken once. It's like they have a seafood, eat food mentality, but without the whole seeing part. They just eat everything. You know what? Maybe I should have sent my ex's cooking to a tiger shark. They probably would have appreciated it more than my taste buds do. Chapter 4, the oceanic white tip more metal than a Metallica concert. Hold on to your life rafts, folks, because now we're diving into the stuff of nightmares, the oceanic white tip. You know those stories about shipwrecks and the lone survivors clinging to debris? Yes, this is the shark that was circling those poor souls. They're like the grim reaper of the open ocean, always lurking in the shadows, waiting for their moment to strike. And trust me, you don't want to be around when they do. They've got this eerie way of appearing out of nowhere, like a ghost with fins. It's enough to make you want to stay on dry land forever. Chapter 5, the short fin mako need for speed and human flesh. Hold on to your swim trunks because the short fin mako is about to blow your mind and potentially your legs off. This shark isn't just fast, it's a marvel of evolutionary engineering. This is the speed demon of the shark world, the Ferrari of the sea. Imagine a sleek silver bullet slicing through the water with the grace of a ballerina and the power of a freight train. It's sleek, it's fast, and it's got a need for speed that would make Vin Diesel jealous. If Vin Diesel were a shark, he'd be a short fin mako, 
no doubt about it. Seriously, this thing can swim up to 46 miles per hour. That's like strapping a rocket to a torpedo and letting it loose in the ocean. That's faster than I drive on the freeway, and I'm pretty sure I've broken a few speed limits in my time. Imagine trying to outrun something that moves faster than your car on a good day, but here's the kicker. They don't just like to swim fast. They like to chase things that swim fast, too. Their prey includes some of the fastest fish in the ocean, like tuna and swordfish. And guess what's on their menu? You guessed it, humans. While attacks are rare, they do happen, and when they do, it's not pretty. So, unless you can outswim a torpedo, I suggest you stay out of their way. These sharks are not just fast. They're relentless hunters with a taste for speed and occasionally human flesh. So next time you're in the ocean, remember, you might just be sharing the water with the Ferrari of the sea. Chapter 6. The Hammerhead. The life of the party, if the party was underwater and terrified. All right, let's talk about the elephant, uh, I mean the hammerhead in the room. The hammerhead shark, with its wacky head shape, is like the weird cousin at the family reunion. You know, the one always wearing something strange, telling bad jokes, and accidentally headbutting people in the face. But hey, you gotta love them, right? They bring a certain charm to the gathering, even if it's a bit unconventional. Except when they're, you know, a shark with a head shaped like a battering ram. That head isn't just for show. Seriously, that head isn't just for show. It's got sensory organs all over it, which means they can see, smell, and probably even taste you coming from a mile away. Imagine having eyes on the sides of your head, giving you a panoramic view of the world. That's the hammerhead's reality. So if you see a hammerhead, maybe just give it a polite nod and slowly back away. They might look odd, but they're incredibly efficient hunters. These sharks often swim in schools, which is quite a sight to behold. It's like a synchronized dance, but with more teeth. When they hunt together, their unique head shape allows them to pin down prey with precision. It's a team effort, and they're really good at it. Their eyes, positioned on the sides of their head, give them a 360-degree view, making it almost impossible for prey to escape their notice. So next time you're underwater and you spot a hammerhead, remember, they're the life of the underwater party. Just keep your distance and enjoy the show from afar. Chapter 7. Next up, we've got the hipster of the shark world, the blue shark. These guys are too cool for school, literally. They prefer to hang out in the deep, dark depths of the ocean, far away from all the tourists and the noise. They're like the indie band of sharks, always swimming against the current, listening to their underwater iPods and writing angsty poetry about the crushing pressure of the ocean depths. But don't let their aloof demeanor fool you. These guys are still sharks. They've got teeth, they've got attitude, and they're not afraid to use them if you cross them. So if you ever find yourself in the deep end with a blue shark, just remember, they're probably judging your taste in music. Chapter 8, The Sand Tiger Shark. Don't let the name fool you, this ain't no kitten. Remember that bouncer at that club you tried to sneak into once? The one with the muscles, the tattoos, and the don't even think about it look in his eye? Well, meet the sand tiger shark, the bouncer of the ocean. These guys are big, they're mean, and they've got a face that only a mother could love. Seriously, they look like they just swam out of a horror movie. But hey, don't let their menacing appearance scare you, unless, of course, you're a fish, in which case you should be very, very scared. Because these guys are ambush predators, which means they like to hide in the sand and wait for their prey to come to them. It's like a surprise party, but instead of cake, there are just teeth. Lots and lots of teeth. Despite their fearsome reputation, sand tiger sharks are actually quite fascinating fish. They have a unique way of maintaining buoyancy by gulping air at the surface and holding it in their stomachs. This allows them to hover almost motionless in the water, conserving energy while they wait for the perfect moment to strike. And let's not forget their teeth. Sand tiger sharks have multiple rows of sharp needle-like teeth that are perfect for gripping slippery prey. These teeth are constantly being replaced throughout their lives, ensuring they always have a fresh set ready for action. Interestingly, sand tiger sharks are also known for their social behavior. They can often be found in groups, especially during mating season. During this time, males can become quite aggressive as they compete for the attention of females. After mating, females give birth to live young, known as pups. 
These pups are born fully formed and ready to fend for themselves. So while the sand tiger shark may look like a creature from your worst nightmare, it's actually a fascinating and complex animal with a unique set of behaviors and adaptations. Next time you see one, remember that there's more to this ocean bouncer than meets the eye. And maybe, just maybe, you'll find a new appreciation for this misunderstood predator. Chapter 9. The Black Tip Reef Shark Catching Waves and Catching Prey. Hang 10. It's the Black Tip Reef Shark, the surfer dude of the shark world. These guys are always hanging out in the shallows, catching waves and catching rays. Of sunshine, that is. Just kidding. They're catching actual rays, as in stingrays. And fish. And anything else they can get their jaws on. But hey, they're just living their best life, right? Soaking up the sun, riding the waves, and occasionally snacking on unsuspecting tourists. Just kidding. Uh, again, maybe. Chapter 10. The Nurse Shark. Not your average night shift worker. Last but not least, we've got the Nurse Shark. The Florence Nightingale of the Sea. Just kidding. These guys are about as gentle as a chainsaw in a pillow fight. Sure, they might look all cute and cuddly with their little mouths and their bottom feeding habits, but don't let that fool you. They've got powerful jaws and they're not afraid to use them. They're like that quiet co-worker who keeps to themselves, but then snaps one day and steals everyone's staple. So if you see a nurse shark, maybe just admire it from a distance. And whatever you do, don't ask them to borrow a bandage. So there you have it, folks. The ocean's deadliest sharks, served up with a side of dark humor. Remember, sharks are amazing creatures that play a vital role in our ecosystem. But they're also, you know, giant predators with teeth. So be careful out there, swim responsibly, and always remember to laugh in the face of danger, or at least try to. Until next time, stay safe, stay curious, and try not to get eaten. In the vast blue depths, one creature reigns supreme. Not even the great white shark can challenge its dominance. Meet the killer whale or orca, a true apex predator. This magnificent creature with its striking black and white coloration patrols the oceans with unmatched prowess. The killer whale sits at the very top of the oceanic food chain, a testament to its size, strength, and intelligence. Weighing up to six tons and stretching as long as 32 feet, these mammals are not just big, they are also incredibly powerful. But what truly sets orcas apart is their extraordinary intelligence. They have complex social structures and hunting strategies that rival those of the most sophisticated terrestrial predators. Their ability to coordinate and communicate among their pod members makes them highly efficient hunters. With a diet that includes fish, seals, and even large whales, orcas are the undisputed rulers of the marine world. So how has the orca earned its fearsome reputation? Let's dive deeper. Brains over brawn, though in the case of the orca, it has plenty of both. The intelligence of these majestic creatures is not just an anecdotal observation, it's a well-documented fact. Orcas, or killer whales, possess one of the largest brains in the marine world. This cognitive prowess is not merely about the size, but more importantly, about the complexity and functionality that aid their survival in the wild. Orcas have developed highly sophisticated hunting strategies that are as varied as they are effective. One of the most striking examples of their strategic acumen is their ability to coordinate with each other during hunts. These marine mammals hunt in pods, which are akin to wolf packs, and each member plays a role in orchestrating a successful hunt. Consider the technique famously known as the wave wash strategy. Orcas in Antarctica have been observed working as a team to create waves that wash seals off ice flows into the water. This method shows not just strategic thinking, but also an understanding of their environment and the behavior of their prey. Social structure plays a crucial role in the transmission of these complex behaviors. Orcas live in incredibly cohesive societies in which knowledge is passed down from one generation to the next. This cultural transmission is akin to human societies where children learn from adults not just through direct instruction, but also via observation and imitation. Moreover, these intelligent creatures have shown the ability to alter their hunting techniques based on the type of prey and its behavior. For instance, when targeting larger baleen whales, orcas will often target the fins and flippers, immobilizing the whale before they proceed. 
This adaptability in tactics underscores a level of problem-solving ability that is quite rare in the animal kingdom. With such advanced tactics, it's clear why orcas are more than just muscle. Their intelligence, coupled with their physical capabilities, makes them one of the most formidable predators in the ocean, truly deserving of their title as the apex predators of the seas. Now let's talk about the sheer physical prowess of these ocean giants. Killer whales, or orcas, are among the most formidable creatures in the marine world, not just because of their intelligence, but due to their astonishing physical attributes. Picture this. An orca can grow up to 32 feet long and weigh as much as six tons. That's as heavy as the largest African elephant. These magnificent mammals are equipped with powerful tail flukes, each muscle and sinew honed by the demands of their aquatic life. Their flukes act like massive paddles, propelling them through water at speeds that can reach up to 34 miles per hour. This is faster than the speediest human swimmer who ever sliced through the waves. Now, imagine the impact of such a creature using its speed in a hunt. Orcas use their robust bodies not only to chase, but to create waves that can knock prey like seals right off the ice floes. Their size and power allow them to handle large prey including other marine mammals like seals and even whales much larger than themselves. In addition to their size and speed, the structural design of their bodies contributes significantly to their hunting prowess. Their streamlined shape allows them to cut through the water with minimal resistance, making them efficient, tireless hunters. An orca's physical capabilities are indeed impressive, but what about their impact on other marine life? Every apex predator plays a crucial role in its ecosystem, and orcas are no exception. Often hailed as the wolves of the sea, orcas are top-tier predators whose very presence shapes the marine environment. By preying on a wide range of species, from fish to seals to even other whales, orcas help maintain the balance of marine life. This role is crucial because it prevents any single species from overwhelming the ecosystem, which could lead to a collapse in marine biodiversity. Orcas are known for their strategic hunting techniques, which often involve complex coordination and teamwork. This not only showcases their intelligence, but also their role in naturally regulating the populations of their prey. For instance, by controlling the seal population, orcas help maintain the health of seagrass beds. Seals consume large amounts of fish that graze on algae, which, if left unchecked, can smother these vital underwater plants. Through this intricate food web, orcas indirectly contribute to the robustness of marine habitats. Moreover, the presence of orcas can even influence the distribution of fish in the ocean. Schools of fish may alter their behavior and location to evade pods of orcas, which can lead to a redistribution of nutrients across different parts of the ocean, affecting many other species in turn. However, the declining numbers of orcas in certain areas due to pollution, fishing, and habitat destruction pose significant concerns. A decrease in orca populations can lead to an overabundance of certain prey species, which might then deplete other marine populations, leading to a cascade of effects that could destabilize marine ecosystems. Thus, the health of orca populations is deeply intertwined with the overall health of the oceans. Protecting them is not just about saving a charismatic megafauna, but about preserving the intricate balance of marine life that sustains the biodiversity of our oceans. Orcas don't just dominate the seas, they help sustain them. Despite their fearsome reputation, orca encounters with humans are surprisingly rare. Orcas, often called killer whales, have been the subject of monstrous legends and myths that paint them as voracious man-eaters. However, the reality of these magnificent marine creatures is quite different. Contrary to popular belief, there are very few recorded instances of orcas posing a threat to humans in the wild. Statistics show that most interactions between orcas and humans are characterized by curiosity rather than aggression. These intelligent creatures are known to approach boats, perform aerial displays, or swim alongside humans, often displaying a gentle and inquisitive nature. One of the most famous encounters occurred off the coast of New Zealand, where a group of swimmers were suddenly joined by a pod of orcas. Far from showing aggression, the orcas swam peacefully alongside the humans for several minutes before departing. This interaction, like many others, highlights the orcas' social and curious traits rather than any inclination towards hostility. In captivity, however, the story changes significantly. 
incidents involving orcas and humans have occurred but these are predominantly in environments where the whales are held captive such conditions can lead to stress and unnatural behaviors in these intelligent beings which can result in aggression yet these instances should not define the species so while formidable orcas typically don't pose a direct threat to humans their portrayal in folklore as sea monsters is a stark contrast to their behavior in their natural habitat where they are generally peaceful towards human encounters. While orcas thrive in the wild, the story changes dramatically in captivity. Removed from the vast expanse of the ocean, these intelligent creatures face a starkly different reality within the confines of marine parks and aquariums. In the wild, orcas swim up to 100 miles a day, diving deep and surfacing at their leisure. However, in captivity, their world shrinks to a mere pool where the lack of space and freedom leads to severe physical and psychological stress. This stress often manifests as aggression, not just towards other captive orcas, but also towards their human handlers. Studies have shown that captive orcas exhibit abnormal behaviors, such as gnawing on concrete walls and metal gates, leading to broken teeth and chronic health issues. These behaviors are virtually non-existent in their wild counterparts, who engage in complex social interactions and hunting strategies that keep them physically and mentally stimulated. The lifespan of an orca in the wild can be as long as 80 to 90 years, with females often surpassing this age. In stark contrast, the average lifespan of a captive orca is significantly reduced, with many failing to reach even half of their natural lifespan. This drastic reduction highlights the unsuitability of captivity for such expansive and dynamic beings. Heartbreakingly, specific cases like that of Tilikum, an orca who was involved in multiple human deaths, underscore the dire consequences of captivity. His story, among others, serves as a poignant reminder of the profound impacts confinement can have on these majestic creatures. It's clear that the majesty of orcas is best preserved and respected in their natural habitat. Killer whales, with their complex behaviors and sheer power, command our respect and admiration. As apex predators, they play a crucial role in maintaining the health of marine ecosystems, regulating populations of other species and ensuring biodiversity. Their intelligence and strategic hunting skills make them formidable in the wild, yet their interactions with humans remain remarkably sparse in terms of direct threats. Understanding and respecting these magnificent creatures helps ensure they continue to thrive and balance our ocean ecosystems for generations to come.